She's a Native American artist and activist, finally getting some long overdue recognition. Serena Altschul introduces us to Jean Quick to See Smith. Her art now on display at New York's Whitney Museum. Oh, that's great. Artist Jean Quick to See Smith certainly has her own way of seeing and painting America. How would you describe your work to someone who hasn't seen it before? I think that every single piece of work tells a story about Native American history or uh, about my tribe. I really concentrate on the images, the large icons, mm -hmm. like a map. Everybody can relate to that. And there are words there. Uh, it will give them some clues. Say yeah. land of the giants. Right. Like that's what we are. Right. America is all powerful. Those clues are now on display at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York, home to a retrospective of Smith's works. In here are hypodermic needles, oh, wow. uh, plastic water bottles. The show will eventually travel to Fort Worth and Seattle. Every single one of these things are, have, have a connection together. It's a milestone moment for the 83-year-old artist, but also for the Whitney. This is its first retrospective for a Native American artist. Why now? I think what's happened is George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, and Standing Rock brought issues to the fore about the lack of representation in our institutions in this country. Every part of our society needs representation by all its citizens. Born on the Flathead Reservation in Montana, a citizen of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes, Jean Quick to See Smith received the name Quick to See as a child. People think that, oh, that's a great name for an artist. Right. But any of us that carry these names, often they're old family names. It is really about insight, insight into things. Her affinity for art would come later. When I met paint, it was like an epiphany. I didn't know the word artist or what it meant, but I went to a community college and I did take art. And at the end of the year, the teacher called me in and he said, you know, you, you can draw better than the men, but you can't be an artist, you're a woman. Oh. and you need to know your place in life. But Smith knew her place was in the art world. In the last five decades, she's had nearly 100 shows and high-profile acquisitions of her work by institutions like the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. In 2020, hers was the first painting by a Native American to join the gallery's collection. I'm not thinking about it just as that they collected my piece and that that's a grand moment. The grand moment would come when they create a collection of, of contemporary Native art, not just antiquities. You know what's remarkable about you, Jean? You never say I. <laughs> you well, always say we and yeah. us. I sometimes say, if you just let me crack the door and come through the door, I'll bring my community with me. And that's been my premise all the way along and in the work that I'm doing right now. You can see that commitment to raising indigenous voices throughout her art. My intention with making the map was one to talk about the stolen land, all the United States, and then I used clippings to show that Indian people do live there. We're still here, right? We are here. As for Smith, she calls New Mexico home, living just outside Albuquerque. I want to see it go all the way down. There, she and her team, which includes her son, artist Neil Ambrose Smith, keep up with the growing demand for her work. I have to stain yeah. the horns. But when it comes to Jean Quick to see Smith, it seems the work is never done. This is really nice. I can dream bigger and think bigger with some of the doors opening, but it's a, a new kind of freedom, I could say. Yeah. I can see your excitement. Yes. Yeah. So.